Hey guys, Elaine here. So I wanted to share with you my story about the wisteria plant. This is the American wisteria. Isn't it gorgeous? I was so excited the other day when I went to Lowe's and I saw this because a few years ago, before I really got into gardening, I bought a Japanese wisteria and I killed it because apparently they like to be watered. And I did not water it. I just shoved it in the ground somewhere and hoped for the best and thought the rain would do the rest of the work, which obviously was not the right thing to do. But afterwards, I found out that Japanese wisteria is quite invasive. And so they don't recommend you growing it in this area. So when I came across this the other day at Lowe's, I was super excited. So I quickly looked it up and was thinking, where am I going to put it? What's the sun requirements? And so as I looked it up, I thought, well, is it going to have the same fragrance as the Japanese? Is it going to be really fragrant? Should I put it close to the patio or a little bit further away just so it's not overpowering? So I looked that up and I found a site that said, like the Japanese wisteria, American wisteria is scented. However, it does not share the sweet intoxicating aroma of its Japanese counterpart. So I thought, okay, it's going to be a little bit slower growing. It's not going to be super invasive. It's not going to smell as sweet or as strong, but it's still going to be gorgeous. And it did say just as beautiful as its Japanese cousin. So I got it. I brought it home. I was really excited. I was about to plant it and I look it up one more time and I see this article that says... Why does my wisteria smell like cat pee? So, my first thought is a cat peed on it. That's why your wisteria smells like cat pee. But I read it anyway, and I read this article and it said that's what American wisteria smells like. It smells like cat pee. So, warning to everybody, this is not something you want to have in your garden if you don't want it to smell like cat pee and I'm so disappointed so I actually saw this morning this flower right here a little bit of a flower left and I smelled it and sure enough it smells like cat pee and I think this is false advertising if ever I saw it because saying something doesn't share the intoxicating aroma of its Japanese counterpart or cousin or relative it's not the same as saying that it smells like cat pee. I mean, if you went on a date and someone said, he's very good looking, just as handsome as his cousin, but doesn't share his cousin's sweet intoxicating aroma, you'd think, okay, he's not going to smell as good as his cousin, but he's going to look just as good. And then you show up and he smells like cat pee. I mean, that's a far cry from not sharing the sweet intoxicating aroma. So now... I'm torn between keeping it because it looks so good and putting it somewhere where I don't smell it or getting rid of it. My husband's opinion is that you should just get rid of it because it doesn't matter how good it looks. You don't want it, something that smells like pee. And I might have to agree with him. So if you have a wisteria, American wisteria, let me know if it smells like pee.